Perth and the South West are under invasion from two feral pests causing millions of dollars damage. The rainbow lorikeet and corella are both introduced species and their numbers are increasing at an alarming rate. Sunset at Cottesloe and the noise is deafening. Like many other sites around our city, these introduced rainbow lorikeets come to roost. Beautiful, but now public enemy number one. Such yeah. a beautiful looking bird. Yeah. And people become, you know, really upset when they realise, you know, that they either have to be culled or, or put down or whatever. Yeah. Um, but it's had a massive impact in the southwest of WA. It's a bird invasion on two fronts. These corellas, the long-billed and little corella, have also been introduced to our southwest. Both of these species cause enormous, virtually social, economic and, of course, of environmental um, destruction. Ron Johnston is one of Australia's foremost bird experts. He's been with the WA Museum for 47 years. Birds are his life. But he's concerned these two pests are now getting out of control. Peaches, plums, pears, uh, persimmons, grapes. So the impact on our agricultural industries could be quite huge. It's already mounting into millions, and in South Australia it's into tens of millions. The corellas also cause massive damage to seed crops, ovals and trees, damage irrigation systems, and both species force out local native birds by taking over their nesting hollows. Dragging eggs and chicks from these species out of the hollow and actually mauling them and dropping them on the ground. And with huge flocks around Perth Airport, there's a real risk of a plane striking a flock. And of course, there's the noise. But there is some hope. A number of local councils have begun culling programs. And there's a move to get a coordinated control system in the metro area. But there's also a new technique of attracting the birds and lacing their food with a sterilisation chemical. And this looks really quite fascinating if we can develop those techniques where they've been able to control pigeons and starlings and rats in other parts of the world. But we can't wait too much longer. There's too much at stake. There's a, a swag of options available, but we really need some of these you know, taken up. We really need to control these now before it's too late. Michael Thompson, Nine News.